Hey guys, this is Josh Miller, the producer of the documentary film Made in the USA, The 30 Day Journey. Uh, we're available on iTunes and Amazon. You can find us at USA30days.com. Uh, we'll try to do a quick vlog here. I got my my daughter and my wife going crazy out here outside the door. Um, just got home from work. Um, I just wanted to, to vent here for a minute about um, a recent tweet that I saw from the State Journal. It's a uh, publication here in West Virginia. It was about Century Aluminum's uh, permanent uh, closure, the announcement from Century. It was uh, definitely sent some shockwaves through our town, but you know it was definitely something we all expected. But it still leaves you frustrated and wondering not only where Ravenswood is going to go, but essentially, um, you know where where this nation is headed. And these, these type of factory jobs, Century Aluminum is what inspired my documentary film. And uh, it made me focus more on uh, made in the USA and American manufacturing. And uh, seeing those jobs leave, over 650 people lost their jobs, well-paying jobs. See those jobs leave our country, or excuse me, to, to shut the, the plant to shut down and jobs like it all around our country leaving our shores is frustrating. And... Uh, I just think that Washington is so far out of touch with, with the reality of the economics here in this country that uh, we're almost to a point of no return. I hate to, to sound like that because I always hate hearing that during 2016. You, you know, they, all these politicians make you believe if you don't vote for them, the world's going to come to an end. I just don't believe that. Um, I hate when I hear that every presidential election year. The truth of the matter is a lot of the, a lot of the problems that we have this has nothing to do with Democrats or Republicans. It has to do with our decisions as a society. And, uh, you know, basically the most powerful weapon that we have as uh, United States citizens, you know, we is our dollar. It's our purchasing power. And uh, we're not using it wisely. Um, it's, it's very frustrating. Uh, we, we encourage companies. I mean, even our, even our colleges, you know, business schools teach offshoring to, to increase your profit margins. I mean, that's just what's happening all around our nation. It's, it's extremely frustrating. Literally, we are moving factories here in the, from here in the United States to uh, essentially third world countries that, and, and their governments allow slave labor conditions. Um, you know, definitely no benefits. I mean, that's, that's laughable when you talk about going into some of these nations. Um, you know, they don't care about their people. It's, it's very frustrating. So, you know, what I stand for is not just about made in America and uh, American manufacturing. It's to me, it, I mean, even though, you know, this movement is about American manufacturing, I think it's about lifting the standards up around the world. And we're not doing that. We are just kind of turning a blind eye and, and letting some of these products come into our country that would be deemed illegal to make here. And Washington just doesn't care. We, they passed the Trans-Pacific Partnership, will be, which will be even more devastating than NAFTA was. Um, history repeats itself. A lot, you know, Bill Clinton was a Democratic president, and we had a Republican-controlled Congress. Uh, that massive free trade agreement, NAFTA, passed. And same situation, President Obama, Democrat, Republican-controlled Congress. Uh, TPP is going to, you know, make its way uh, through Congress, and, and definitely, you know, the president's going to get fast-track powers. I don't care if it's a Democrat or Republican in office. I don't think the president of the United States should be able to essentially decide on his own, you know, our trade agreements. I think it should go through Congress like numerous things should. Um, that's not a political, you know, left or right thing to me. It's just common sense. It's the way we we're set up and the way things are supposed to be. So I don't want to make this any longer. Washington, you're out of touch. I think that's something, you know, America already knows. The economy is the number one issue, and it will remain so. I know there's a lot of important, um, excuse me, important issues we're talking about, but nothing matters more than the economy right now. Because if you can't put food on the table for your family, give them shelter, um, you know, have the potential for that secure future, um, it's, you know, the, the economy is going to remain the number one issue, no matter how high stocks get or how high corporate profits get. As long as we continue to destroy the American working men and women and the entrepreneurs of this country um, that, that want to produce here, we're going to continue to tailspin into uh, economic despair. And uh, Ravenswood, West Virginia is just an example of that. But we have to figure out a way to move forward, and we have to tell uh, Washington that it's time to produce policies 
that encourage domestic manufacturing. And I know I've been preaching this for over three years now, and you may get tired of hearing it, but I promise you, your children's future is at stake, and you know your jobs could be at stake. It's um, it's not a pleasant situation right now. No matter how great we think the economy is doing, it will tailspin again until we change what we, you know, where we, our policies focus. And right now, manufacturing to me is the central, you know, it's, it's the lifeblood of this country and makes everything else run from. You know, healthcare to service sectors to R and D, um, advanced manufacturing is the only thing that's going to bring us into a sustainable culture. Sorry, I shook the computer there. Um, once again, my name is Josh Miller. I'm the producer of the documentary film Made in the USA: The 30 Day Journey, available on iTunes and Amazon. Go to USA30days.com. And my challenge is: there anybody? Uh, I want to challenge Washington. Is there anybody out there? that truly cares about the American working men and women and also care about the American entrepreneur because I don't think they're out there right now. The only thing they care about is their egos and uh, I just don't think they have uh, the American public's uh, best interest in mind. They may think they do, but it's time to reevaluate or we're going to be lost. And that's the one thing that I think we have a problem with. America is searching for an identity and we still have not found it yet. And uh, someone needs to speak up. I'm trying, you know, I try every day, blog posts, um, Facebook, social media, Twitter, I, I keep at it, but, you know, I don't have the money to reach out there like some of these people do. Unfortunately, you know, whether you like it or not, money talks, and until I can figure out a way to get my voice out there and, you know, pay for massive advertising campaigns, I'm just going to keep at it. So, I appreciate you guys' support. Sorry this was a little longer than I wanted it to be, but it's necessary. Um, take care, and if you have any questions, you can email me through usa30days.com. Thank you.